um, yeah, I mean, if, if today I'm going to talk about something that is completely non-work related. It's even barely GIS related in some ways. Um, all right, give it up. All right, today I am making it up. Um, I am going to be talking about uh, things that aren't real, bots that make maps, tools for creating fake maps, and map mapping tools for tabletop gaming fans. Real life is boring. Oh, I should say, there is no AI in this talk. AI is a fad. Um, <laughs> I don't mean that, but there's a way to go before you can get a pretty map out of AI. Anyway, real life is boring, let's talk about bots. Um, this is a really cool um, guy, oh, I've lost my thing, he's a British guy, um, Nathan O'Leary, I think it is his name, um, made this little bot that generates like um, little city maps. And he had this bot that was uh, uh, um, producing these uh, once a day map of a random town. And it's all automatically generated. Um, used to be on Twitter, it's now on uh, Mastodon and various other places. Um, I think he's got various other bots too. So, oh yeah, there'll be lots of QR codes in this. Um, so please get out your phone and, and, uh, and follow the links where you can. Um, so that's pretty cool. Um, there's another really cool one. Um, this is like the first bot I started following on Twitter. It's called CopulaBot. So uh, what this is, is the copula um, piece of the International Space Station. And what um, this bot does is every, uh, I think it's 90 minutes, it produces an image that um, is uh, from uh, Sentinel um, satellite image. It's not real satellite from the actual ISS, unfortunately. But it, it simulates what you would be seeing if you were floating in space at that point in time. So that's pretty cool. Um, unfortunately, you know, uh, Twitter no longer exists. So, um, uh, but that is now on... Uh, no, it's not live anymore, but there is a GitHub that has all the code on it, so you can go and like repo it if you want to. That's pretty cool. All right. Um, similarly, there's a thing called AerialBot. So it kind of does a similar thing, um, and so this one uh, includes, uh, um, you know, this is somewhere in Japan, and similarly, on a regular schedule, it's grabbing a piece of imagery and posting it to, um, in this case, like Tumblr and Mastodon and various other places. Um, there's a GitHub link there to that code, and the really cool thing about that, if, if you follow that, you'll find like, 20 or 30 other bots that are doing imagery in different areas. So there's like an Aerialbot Japan, an Aerialbot Germany, all different kinds of things. Um, so that's pretty cool. One of my favorites, uh, Weird Satellite. Um, this is a Tumblr bot of speculative surveillance by Mark Sample. And what it does is every couple of day, oh, it's like every like half an hour or something, produces these like random images of like fake surveillance um, as if it was marked up by some spooky analyst in a three-letter agency somewhere. <coughs> so look out for your Sumerian tortoises and your cryptid dugouts. Um, so that's really cool. Um, again, um, you can follow the link and, and you'll see a whole lot of these things that you can scan back in time. Sometimes vaguely not safe for work um, with maybe drug references, but you know, it's pretty tame, I guess. Cool, um, real life is boring. Tabletop RPGs are awesome. Um, if you don't know what that is, um, yeah, TTRPG or tabletop role-playing games are games you play with friends where you pretend to be on adventures and fight mythical beasts with spells and all that jazz. I'm really coming out here today as a massive nerd. <laughs> um, but like D&D had a Dungeons and Dragons you're probably familiar with. It had a huge um, sort of revival lately. Um, I almost called this talk D&D TTRPG 4 Plus 4 G 4 <laughs> SOTM, but that might have been a bit too much even for this uh, conference. Um, so TTRPG fans, bunch of nerds, too much time done on hands apparently, um, fundamentally lazy. Nah, it's not really true. It's a lot like programmers, you know. Um, so as programmers are want to do, you know, during lockdowns, couldn't get together um, physically, and so a whole lot of cool technology that was already around, but sort of became a lot, had a lot more focus. And one really cool thing, it's not open source, but um, it is also like pay once and you can use it forever licensing, which is the next best thing in my mind. Um, so this is called Foundry Virtual Tabletop, another acronym, but it means that you can load up a bunch of maps, hey, there's the link, um, and your friends can dial in and they can pretend to be an elf, paladin, or whatever, and fight dragons and roll virtual dice and all that kind of stuff. So that's pretty cool. Of course, to use that, you need the maps to load up in it, and there are tools like Incarnate. Um, also not a free one, um, but you can, sorry, not open source, um, but you can jump onto the website and you can start making like fantasy maps for free with a lot of the tools. And if you pay a bit of money, um, you get a whole bunch more. And I, I won't go into the drawing tools, but like 
you can come in and create post lines and layers and add all these different assets and has all these kind of features for making pretty cool looking maps, both at like a regional scale and a town scale. And I didn't include any, oh, geez, I forgot. Okay. <laughs> what about Procter and Arena? Go there. Last one. This one. Go to this one. This is the best one. Stop, 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 stop.